Hello, stamping friends. It's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I would love to be your demonstrator if you do not already have one. So today we are doing another live class. We do it every week, usually on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Today we had to reschedule, but I'm really excited to share with you one of my favorite sentiment stamps, stamp sets from the annual catalog, and it's called Biggest Wish. It's a really cool stamp set that I feel is a must have because it's a little bit different than most sentiment stamps uh, in your collection. So we're gonna be using that. We're gonna be combining it with many of the papers that are on sale right now with the designer series paper sale. That we have, I think there's nine different um, flavors of designer series paper that are on sale. They're all of the standard packs of designer series paper in the annual catalog. So not the specialty and not the in color uh, collection, family collection, uh, color collections, but all of the rest of the standard packs. There's nine different varieties and we're gonna be using several of those on our cards today. Just to show you how quick and easy it is to combine the stamp set with the sentiment and a couple of layers of cardstock and designer series paper. Just really quick and easy cards, very simple to duplicate, and perfect for stamping a whole stack so that you can have some on hand when you need them. So that's always a good thing. So before we get started, I wanted to just uh, remind you of a few things. Of course, I just mentioned the des designer series paper sale is going on now. That's 15% off, nine different varieties, and that lasts until August 2nd. And then on August 3rd, that's when the fun starts. We're gonna be having a brand new mini catalog launch. And in addition to that, Celebration 2.0, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> it's a mid-year celebration that Stampin' Up! has never done before. So if you are familiar with the, the Stampin' Up! celebration that happens in the early part of the year, in January, February, sometimes in March too, um, then you'll know all about it. But basically, uh, it's a really great time to get some free stuff. I'll have more information about that coming up very shortly on my website, twocoolstamping.com. And again, that all starts August 3rd. That's when the mini catalog is launched. That's gonna have all of your seasonal favorites, your fall stamps, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. That's always the big, big thing for the year. So we have lots of fun new stamp sets for the holidays that you're going to love. I love them already. So um, so that's going on then all, all, also, sorry, <laughs> that uh, celebration promotion. And that promotion is gonna last for two months. So it's gonna be from August 3rd until the end of September. The mini catalog lasts through the whole end of the year. So you'll have plenty of time to shop with that, but the celebration promotion will be uh, through the end of September. So again, I'll have more information at twocoolstamping.com, so be sure to keep updated on that. You can always subscribe to my blog, twocoolstamping.com, and there's a little subscribe um, area on the side. You can type in your email address. That way you will be notified anytime I post something, and that includes the announcements. In addition, um, and I mentioned this last week, but we do uh, have several people who've been asking about paper share. Yes, I will be doing a mini catalog paper share. I'll have information about that next week. And I'll also be doing another countdown to Christmas. And just so that you know, um, I do have a different kind of a time schedule for the countdown to Christmas. We'll still be doing four different kits for that like we normally do, but we are gonna start it a little bit early and end in the middle of November. So you'll have plenty of time, you'll have all of your kits and card supplies and you'll have plenty of time with them in hand to be making those cards so they're nice and early and in people's mailboxes very, very quickly. Um, so that will be happening. And let's see, I'm looking at my list. What I'm, oh, and I also wanted to mention, we, we I talked about the mini catalog and celebration. Um, you should be, if you are on my mailing list and you have, you know, placed orders with me recently, you should be on my mailing list. Then you'll be getting that mini catalog and celebration flyer in the mail at any time. I've had several customers say that they've already hit their mailbox. Um, I know it takes, in some areas, it takes a little bit longer. So I'm hoping sometime between now and the middle of next week, the end of next week, 
before that actual catalog hits, you'll be getting that in the mail. If you're not sure if you're on my list, just send me an email. Go to twocoolstamping.com, click on the email link, and send me an email. Just ask. Um, if you're not on the list, I'll be happy to send you a catalog. And if you are on the list, I'll let you know, and you can be looking for that in your uh, mailbox coming shortly. Okay, I am going to flip the camera around. We're going to talk about the Biggest Wish stamp set, and I think you're going to love these projects. So hold on a minute. Close your eyes if you get a little, little woozy with the roller coaster ride. Okay, let me just make sure we're nice and clamped in here. All right, so let me just share with you a little bit about this stamp set. First of all, I, I just think that it's adorable. I love it that you have big blocky letters as well as the flourishing um, cursive type of font. And they're all the same words, which makes it nice because you can mix and match however you want to do your phrases. So there's lots of ways you could put it together. Of course, happy birthday, happy hello, hello friend, thanks friend. Um, lots of different ways that you can do it. And you can just stick with, you know, happy birthday with the block letters or happy birthday with the cursive letters, or you can combine them with some layering. And that's what we're gonna be doing on a lot of our cards today. So you can see how you can put these together in several different ways. So I love this. Um, it just, it makes it really, really easy when you combine it with the designer series papers or any of your favorite images that may not already have sentiments that go with it. This just is a, a really fun and easy way to add a greeting to your projects. So we'll be fo focusing on this stamp set. And then as I mentioned, we'll be focusing on several of the designer series papers that are currently on sale. So let's just go over those really quick. Again, these are on sale 15% off until uh, August 2nd. And that includes the Beauty of the Earth. This is on page 130 of the annual catalog. Beauty of the Earth, Bloom Where You're Planted. We're gonna be using hand penned designer series paper. So all the standard packs. Um, this one is not, this is actually not a standard pack. It's a much larger pack, but the In Good Taste is also included. The In the Wild, the Pansy Petals, we'll be using that one today. The Sweet Symmetry, we'll have a card with that as well. The Tidings of Christmas, we're not going to be using that this week, but we did use that for the two weeks prior on our Christmas in July series that we did. And then the final one is the You're a Peach designer series paper. So all nine of those are available now through August 2nd at 15% off. And hopefully you'll get some ideas on how to use those in conjunction with this Biggest Wish stamp set. All right, let's get started with our first project. And I wanted to keep these super easy this time. So you'll notice that they go together very, very quickly. So the first card starts with Poppy Parade. I just have a traditional cardstock base here. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. Now we're going to stamp a sentiment on here, but before we do, we're gonna add a couple of pieces of paper. So we have the You're a Peach designer series paper. This is five and a quarter by two. And we're going to adhere it to a five and a quarter by four inch piece of basic white. I'm going to put that right along the bottom. And then I do have a little strip here of old olive that's five and a quarter by a half. And we'll add that right along the top. Okay. And before we put that down, I think I'm gonna add this white crinkle seam binding ribbon. And I'm just going to tie that in a little knot 
double knot. And we'll trim that off. And then I can add this to my cardstock. Now, if you wanted to, I'm gonna pop up the sentiment on a little label. This is a label that I um, that I created with the Hippo and Friends dies. I love those dies. And I'm gonna pop that up, but this is really good for some of the smaller words. If you wanted to use happy birthday, then you'll want to go ahead and just stamp right on this piece. And you could put happy birthday in the large font uh, and then the smaller cursive font or both large fonts, um, however you wanna do it. So you could do the stamping there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that up just to give it a little bit more interest. So I'll add this background. And then this is gonna be a thank you card. So I'm gonna stamp. Let me get my piercing mat. I love to have a piercing mat. This just gives a little extra firm cushion underneath so I can have a nice transfer of ink. And you can see when I did my um, positioning on my blocks, I just used a larger block and I used the, the bold letters on one side and then flip it over and the cursive on the other. So they're nice and um, you know together. I can find them easily. I don't have as many blocks going around. So I'm gonna stamp this in the petal pink. And that pretty much takes up that whole sentiment. Pretty. And then I'll use the Poppy Parade with the cursive. And we're gonna stamp that right over the top. This is one of the fun layered looks that you can get with this Biggest Wish stamp set. I just love how that comes out. Okay, we'll just quickly use some dimensionals on the back here to pop that up. I think the word friend would fit in there, happy, hello, pretty much everything except for the birthday. So if you wanted to make it a birthday card, just skip the label. All right, we'll add that and then we'll finish up with a rhinestone from the Champagne Rhinestones. There we go. Quick and easy and so pretty. I love how that came out. If you wanted to, you could add, um, there's a little, there's one little image here with the three crosses on it, three plus signs, and you could add some of those over here if you wanted to fill in some of that blank area. I did use a little bit of those on this uh, second card, my Too Cool version. I used the same Euro Peach designer series paper, just picked a different pattern, same old olive. The background this time is Calypso Coral. And then to match the paper, I stamped in Balmy Blue and then Mossy Meadow over the top and then added the little plus signs with Calypso Coral. So that's a fun way that you can do it as well. All right, so quick, so easy. All right, next up. We're gonna start with Flirty Flamingo this time. Same traditional size card base. And this time my background is this beautiful, I don't know if you call it embossed, but it's actually a die that creates this. And hopefully you can see that. I don't know if it's showing up on the, the video or not. Um, but it's a beautiful leafy pattern that's kind of in the faux stitching. And this is a die that you can purchase. And now I completely forgot the name of it. So I'm gonna look it up real quick. Um, it is called Stitched Greenery. And I just did that on a five and a quarter by four inch piece of basic white. 
I love that background. So unique and goes with so many things. Anytime you have flowers, it's gonna look beautiful. So there's our background. Now this time I use the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. I just cut a four by three inch piece. And this is a card design that I am casing from a friend of mine named Laura Milligan. She sent me a swap card and I love this layout because it was so quick and easy. And when you have the three by four, you can get 12 pieces from one sheet of a designer series paper. So it's very, very quick. Next up, I'm gonna use that seal and I'm just gonna drag that right across the center. And I'm gonna add some of this ribbon. This is the mint macaron and gold braided ribbon. And this is, I, this is the first time I've used it. I didn't realize that you can pull it and kind of make it a little bit wider and you can see that beautiful braided texture. So if you wanna use it kind of thinner, you can, but I'm gonna just kind of pull it apart a little bit and then lay that right over that adhesive. We'll cut the end off of each side and then I'm gonna fray that a little bit just to give it some more interest. It's beautiful ribbon. I had never used it before and it's just gorgeous. I love the gold flex, the gold threads of ribbon or um, the gold threading in there. It's really pretty. Okay, then to finish off, we'll use that Biggest Wish stamp set. This time, we're gonna use Hello and we'll stamp that in the Flirty Flamingo like the card base. And I have a die cut here. This is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Another one of those must haves for, whoops, I think I need a little more ink. There we go. So there's hello. And we're gonna say hello friend. So we'll get some Memento Black ink. Actually, well, I'm gonna use Memento Black. You probably want to use um, Knight of Navy is what I meant to use, but I don't think I brought that over here because you know, if you follow me, I like to forget at least one thing. So that's the thing I forgot. Hopefully it's the only thing, but we'll do Memento Black over the top of that. That'll still look good. So we're using the cursive font this time. Beautiful. Hello, friend. We're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. So you can see there's like a basic, kind of a plug, plug and play combo here. You have your background with some sort of designer series paper, add a ribbon, stamp on a little die cut, and then add some little embellishments. And on this one, we're gonna add some gold metallic pearls to match that gold thread in our ribbon. Just a couple of those, give it a little shine. And there you have it. Super cute, super easy. You could make a whole stack of these really, really quickly. So here's what it looks like with, it really, you can't really tell, the Knight of Navy. Can barely tell the difference. And then my second card, my too cool version, I used a different pattern of the Sweet Symmetry paper with Knight of Navy background um, for the card base. I used the Tasteful Textile embossing folder for that basic white layer. Same ribbon. I used the same sentiments. This time I stamped in Calypso Coral to match the paper and the Knight of Navy. So there are your two cool versions. All right. So for the next card, I'm gonna do a special technique that requires the Stamparatus. Now, if you don't have the Stamparatus, first of all, you should get one <laughs> because it's really, really helpful. But if you don't have one, it's okay. 
Um, you can just do it freehand because these are photopolymer clear stamps so that you can see right through. But I wanted to show you how to do a special technique called the hinge step technique. So what I've done here, let's start, let me get started with some of my pieces here of my card. <coughs> Excuse me. This one begins with soft sea foam. Same traditional card base measurements. And then I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece here of basic white. And then this time I'm using the Pansy Patch Designer Series paper. And I love the beautiful gingham colors in there. There's three different patterns of gingham and this one is soft succulent. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my paper. right along the edge. Okay, so we have this starting and then we're going to stamp happy birthday on here, but we're gonna have a repetitive stamp with the happy. So what I've done is I'm gonna put my card in here, make sure it's nice and flush with the corner, put my magnet on here to hold it in place, and then you're gonna situate your stamp so that it's just maybe an eighth of an inch from the top and then also maybe an eighth of an inch from this paper. So I've already done that, but all you need to do is just, you know, place it on your paper where you want it, close the piece, and that's gonna be lined up perfectly. Now we're gonna start stamping and I'm gonna do several different colors so you can see a progression of different colors. So I'll start with soft sea foam to match our background card base. And just press that down. And you don't have to worry if you don't have it inked up all the way because you can always stamp it again. So there's our first one. Now we're gonna need to clean and I highly recommend the Simply chamois, mine is well used and that's okay. You just wanna run it under water and wring it out to make sure you have it nice and clean. And then I just have it like a little rag here. I'm gonna wipe that ink off. And we'll do that between each color. Next up, we have mint macaron. Now we don't want to stamp over the top, we actually want to pull this up and make it go down one step of the hinge. Now we can just stamp right underneath. Ta-da, beautiful. And we'll just continue doing that with all of the colors. So the next color is soft succulent. That's gonna match that gingham paper. Now this one I'm noticing, and you may have this issue too, when it's summertime and it's really humid in your area, you might have a lot of bubbles on your stamp. Um, and a lot of times it's just because your pads have a lot of extra fluid in there because it's so humid in your area. So I've had several people ask me about that recently because it just seems like they can't get a good stamp. You can see maybe some of the, the bubble looking um, pattern on here. It just for me, it's been that there's too much ink on the pad, or maybe not too much ink, but there's too, humi too much humidity. It's causing it to be too wet. So what I do is I actually have a dedicated bone folder. You could also use just like a plastic spoon if you wanted to, and you just wanna push some of that ink out of the way. So I'm gonna ink it up from the center. I'm just gonna push some of that out of the way. You can see that there's kind of a line here now where it's a little bit less ink. Can you see that hopefully in the video? And then it's gonna stain your fold, your bone folder, so you, that's why I have a dedicated one. I just wipe it off with a tissue and then it's good to go for the next one if I need to do that. So when you do that, it's gonna make it a little bit less ink. And sometimes people Notice that it's too dark of the, you know, it's almost, it's almost an evergreen instead of a soft succulent. 
that's also because you might not you might have too much wetness on that uh oh I didn't get that one fully inked up that's okay that's one thing that's great about the stamparatus let me put this down I think that's part of the problem there we go you can fix it because it's right in the same the same place every time we'll wipe that up you can cut those chamois down too so if you wanted to have one that was you know specific for your stamparatus you could cut it in half or even a quarter and um, it's a lot easier to to hold in your hand and manipulate so that's another little tip so the last color I'm going to do is Bermuda Bay. And I think this is having that same problem with the ink. Just a little bit too much humidity. Gets a little bubbly. Okay. I think that'll work. Again, we're gonna step down with the hinge and stamp. Ta-da, I love how that's turning out. So the fun part is you can use any colors that you want with these cards. If you get it with the card kit, you can use any colors. So that's all I'm gonna use the Stamparatus for. Then we're gonna finish up with the cursive font And it's gonna be the birthday word in memento black. And I'm just gonna overlap just a tiny touch, just a tiny bit. So no worries if you kind of if you're freehanding it and you kind of run out of a little bit of room, just overlap that last one. That's okay. That's part of the charm of this particular stamp set. Okay, we'll go ahead and add this to our card front with some seal adhesive. And then I have some soft succulent open weave ribbon. I'm gonna add that around the card front. Again, tying that in a double knot. Okay, we'll trim that up. I think I'm gonna get this situated up at the top. And then, again, same formula. So we have just a little bit of designer series paper, add the font. Um, this one doesn't have a die cut because you didn't need that, but you're gonna add a ribbon and then an embellishment. And for the embellishment this time, we're gonna use some rhinestones, just basic rhinestones that we're gonna color. So I'm gonna use the dark soft succulent stamp and blends. I'm using the bullet tip end and we'll just color that up. You can make your rhinestones any color you want. It's gonna match anything that you make. There we go. Super, super cute. A little bit of bling. So that is our green version. Then I did a too cool version. This is kind of more masculine looking maybe. My other one I made very girly looking. So I did it in pinks and purples. So I used the designer series paper from hand penned and I stamped in, this is actually stamped off once for Midnight Mad or Magenta Madness, then Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and then the Memento Black Ink. I put the Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon along the side. It's on the uh, Magenta Madness card base, 
and it has magenta madness colored rhinestones. So you kind of have the, the boy and girl version of the happy birthday. All right. For our fourth card, we're gonna start with a soft succulent card base. Again, just the traditional. And I don't know if I mentioned, those of you who follow me know that I usually do a card kit, five card kit that you can earn for free with a, an order that you place during the week of the live class. And um, all of the cards that I demonstrate how to put together, you'll get all the parts and pieces for those to recreate those on your own. Just add stamps, inks, and adhesives. And all you have to do is place an order with me to coolstamping.com click the shop now link and place your minimum $35 order using the host code. Don't forget that host code that lets me know which uh, card kit you are interested in. Okay, so for this one, we're using the Pansy Patch Designer Series Paper, another one of those that's on sale for this current Designer Series Paper sale. This is two and a half by five and a half. And we'll place that right along this side. We have another piece here that's a four and a quarter by one. Another color of that beautiful gingham pattern from that pack, really pretty. And I'll start that from this edge to this edge. I'm gonna chop that off, it's just a little bit too long there we go. Next, we're going to add a little die cut with our sentiment. This time I'm using the Taylor Made Tags as my die set and I cut a basic white tag out of that. And I'm going to use, I'm going to peel that happy birthday or the happy off of my Stamparatus. We'll make sure that that's nice and clean and put that on my block. And we'll ink that up with Fresh Freesia. That's the same color as this gingham paper. So happy. So this is another example of some of that humidity. If you can see those little dots there, that's what it's, it's looking like when you don't push that ink out of the way. Again, for me, it just really only happens during the summer. I'm in Indiana, it gets a little humid in the summer. So that's just something you have to deal with, I guess. Okay, we're gonna make this another birthday card, so we'll add the birthday. And this time we're gonna overlap. So pretty. Okay, this time I actually have another piece here. This is of the Evening Evergreen, same size die. I'm gonna put those together. And then I have a piece of the Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon. I'm gonna fold that in half. We're gonna make a little topper here. I'm gonna come in from the back side and thread that through. Let me just cut this at an angle. It's gonna go in a little bit better. There we go, that's a lot easier to grab. And then we'll put that through the loop and that will be our nice tag topper. And I'm gonna to wait to cut that, to trim that off. We're gonna add this to the card front. We're gonna split this a little bit and let's just put some adhesive on the backs here so that they stay in place. So figure out how far you, apart you want those. And then we can just add that right to our card. 
if you wanted to, you could pop that up. I just didn't want it to get a little bit too tall. The post office doesn't like it when it gets too tall. Trim that off. And then we'll finish up with some bling. This time, something a little different. We're gonna use the Loose Flower Flourishes. These are some really cute in color flowers. They're little, they're kind of um, like an acrylic. They are a little bit higher. Um, so this is something that you might need to use some extra postage if you're gonna put that through the mail. You might even wanna, <clears throat> excuse me, use a, another layer of cardstock or even some padding in there so that it doesn't, the post office does not like these, these larger embellishments. But if you're gonna hand give a card, it'll be perfect for that. Or like I said, you, if you just put a, a couple extra layers of cardstock and add in um, some extra postage, then that would work just fine. So we're gonna use not polished pink, cause that's not, don't want that one. Let's see, let's use the pale papaya and then also the Fresh Freesia. Now, if you wanted to, you could use the Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue. I would highly recommend that. Just to make it fast, I'm going to use a glue dot, which also works nicely. So just stick that right on the glue dot, pop it off, and put it on your card. And even this little one, it's just a tad bigger, or a tad smaller than the glue dot, so I'm just gonna tuck that in. I'm gonna use my fingernail and kind of tuck that under so it doesn't have any sticky showing. There we go. So that is our finished birthday card. Super cute. I love that pansy paper. For our two cool version, I tried one with another design from the pansy patch paper. And this time it's on a pale papaya background with that pale papaya gingham. That's the third color of gingham pattern, which I love. We did the same uh, sentiment, same colors. This time we just added the fresh freesia and a calypso coral die cut tag for the background. And then I used different uh, colors. I just swapped the colors out with the large and small flower from the loose flower flourishes. So those are my two cool versions of that. Okay, we have one more card. This one's one of my favorites because I love the paper. So we're starting out with So Saffron for our card base. We're using the hand-penned designer series paper this time. So we're gonna start out with a background that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then we have little pieces here that we're gonna add to make kind of a little blocked a blocked little version of a background with all the different pieces of hand penned paper. So let me give you the measurements for all of these and you could use any combination of patterns that you wanted to in any size that you wanted to that would fit, but these are the ones that I used. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this first piece is two and a half by three and a quarter. Two and a half by three and a quarter. And I want to measure these so they have just a little peak of black in between. So this one's also two and a half and then one and five eighths. Two and a half by one and five eighths. And then for these pieces over here, one and an eighth wide by one and seven eighths. Again, one and an eighth, and this is three. So we'll use our seal adhesive to add these to our background. Just want a little bit peeking out there. We'll add this piece next. This is a great way to showcase all of Stampin' Up's beautiful papers and how well they coordinate together. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Okay, we'll add that. And then the last piece. Beautiful. All right, before we put that down on our card base, we're gonna add some bumblebee ribbon. This is the bumblebee gingham ribbon. Can you tell I like gingham? I do, I so do. There's some really pretty gingham ribbon coming out in our mini catalog that's black and white and it's gonna go with so many things, I love it. So, if you like gingham like I do, you're gonna wanna look for that. All right, here is our gingham ribbon. We'll add this to the card front. Uh-oh, I think I'm out. Let's get some new. I don't know if I show this very often, how easy it is to change out the stamp and seal. You just wanna kind of push this, it's gonna pop apart. You'll see that the stamp and seal is written right there, so you know how to put that in. I have a pack here, ready to go. You got the stamp and seal. You're just gonna pop that onto the, before I do that actually, what you wanna do is you want, sometimes there's some goop in here that's gotten caught and while you have that open, you can get that out. There's a dimensional in there. <laughs> so get all of the sticky, <clears throat> excuse me, all the sticky off. That'll help it work better. And then you can put that right in there on the little pegs, pop the cover on and you are good to go. All right, got to get it started. Perfect. It takes a little bit of getting used to the seal. It's just a little bit different, but I am loving it because it's, it's so secure, especially as I mentioned, we're so humid here and our previous adhesive sometimes wouldn't stick with all the humidity, but this one does for sure. All right, this time my little die cut is from the Tasteful Labels dies in basic white. And again, I'm gonna use the Happy, if I can find it. Why am I not finding it? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I can't keep track of my tools. Do you guys have that problem ever? All right, so the first one I'm gonna stamp is Happy in Highland Heather. We'll stamp that right on the top here. I got a little bit crooked, that's okay. And then this time we're gonna stamp, mm, let's see. Happy, oh, hello, here it is. So I'm gonna use the hello. And most of these die cuts that will be included in your kit are just the perfect size that you can use any number of combinations, just not the birthdays. There's only certain ones you can use the birthdays because it'll be long enough. So happy hello. We'll use our dimensionals to pop that up. And we'll add that right over where everything comes together. And then we'll dress that one up with one of the genial gems. This is soft succulent, I believe. So it kind of brings that soft succulent over to the other side. And that is our final card. Happy hello, the too cool version. I used some different papers here from the hand penned. And so Misty Moonlight was involved, some soft succulent and the pale papaya. And then I stamped in, stamped off once Misty Moonlight. I didn't want it to get too dark because this, you know, the watercolor look is kind of a light color there. 
And then I also used friend, hello friend, instead of happy hello. Added a couple of genial gems and the pale papaya open weave ribbon. All right, so let's bring out all of the cards that will be in your kit. As I mentioned, if you have a $35 minimum order with me at twocoolstamping.com, making sure that you use the host code that you see here at the top. I'll also have that in the description of the video. And let's bring out, these are gonna be all of the card supplies that you'll get. So you'll be able to make any of these cards. You just add the stamps, inks, and adhesives. And there you go. So you have all the supplies for all five of these cards. Make sure that you get that big, biggest wish stamp set that, like I said, it's just, it's so much fun. It's just such a must have. If you don't have the Stamparatus, that might be something that you want to, to add to your order because it really does come in handy if you want to have precise positioning for sentiments or anything else that you're trying to stamp. And this is one fun way that you can use that with that hinged uh, step technique. Really, really fun. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me this week. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch our watch the video today and hopefully i have inspired you with these beautiful projects uh, again place that order for your free five card class kit at twocoolstamping.com just click on the shop now link and use that host code don't forget the host code i need to know which card kit that you're interested in and um, let me give you the dates on when those are available this will this kit will be available through july 28th so you can order between now and July 28th to get that free kit, and then it will mail out on August 1st. So I hope that you enjoy this. Thanks again for watching this week. Let me know in the comments what you think of the cards, which ones you like the best. I'd love to hear from you. And until next week, I will see you later. I hope you have a great week. We'll be here uh, again on Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time next week. And it'll be a new mini catalog by then. I think, well, is it next week? No, one more week. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, next week we'll have another live class and, and then the following week will be a new mini catalog that we can start looking at. And I know you're gonna love it. All right, until then, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Thanks so much, bye-bye.